We've just explored one of the most scenic highways in the Southwest. So, what's at the end of the road? Get ready to discover the cute town of Summerhaven with a general store, gift shop, homemade pie, and cookies. I'm already in love. Summer Haven is one square mile of private land that is surrounded by national forest. The main draw is that in the summer we're about 20 to 30 degrees cooler than Tucson. You can sit on your front porch and hear nothing but silence. There's an occasional car that'll um, pass by and it's usually going to be somebody that we know. Carol Mack owns Summer Haven's general store by day and is a volunteer firefighter by night. With only 35 year-round residents, you can say that she and her husband Phil know pretty much everybody. Sometimes more than you want to. <laughs> They're all nuts. They're I think it's the altitude that gets them, but they're, they're great people. It's a very close community. Bob Zimmerman doubles as a realtor, restaurant owner, and is considered the town's unofficial mayor. I don't know where this idea got going, but it did. While it's a peaceful retreat for visitors looking to escape the summer heat, this close-knit community is simply called home to its full-time and part-time residents. Mostly the hangout is during the day, check in at the general store, see what's going on. The second place you check in at is the post office. You get filled in with what's going on with anybody who's going somewhere, who's not feeling well, you know, who needs a pot of chicken soup or whatever. This community became even closer when the town pulled together after the 2003 Aspen fire. It was very heartwarming and it kind of set a basis for us to move forward and rebuilding. Although 10 years later you can still see fire damage to the forest, folks here have been busy restoring their faith, their fortitude, and their small town. There literally was nothing on this main street. We just love this place so dearly that we said, let's rebuild. As the rebuild continues, shops and restaurants are open for business in Summer Haven. The goal? Helping tourists enjoy the simple pleasures of a tasty life. We have so many repeat customers for our fudge and we get to welcome them back year after year. Carol Mack's general store and gift shop, fudge made fresh and daily is their specialty. We have a plethora of flavors. 25 flavors to be exact. We have exotic things like jalapeno fudge or um, chewy praline, cappuccino, just all kinds of fun stuff. We then head down the hill to discover a fun store called The Living Rainbow. With its dangling wind chimes and crystals, this shop is all about art and color. And boy, all this window shopping can really work up an appetite. Good thing the cookie cabin is right next door. Pretty good stuff. Piping hot pizza is on the menu here, but what they're really known for is their cobbler and giant-sized cookies served up paper plate style. Some just want to get out of town and, and see the forest and their outdoor experiences driving up here and stopping in some place and have a cup of coffee or a piece of pie or something and going back to Tucson. Did somebody say pie? The pies are there. We got them and people like them. We head over to the Sawmill Run restaurant and now while they're known for their pies, you will find good old fashioned mountain food on this menu. Hope you're hungry. I got a finished dip right here, yeah? Right there, right there. The Sawmill Run is the town's newest hangout, and with its cozy atmosphere and down-home cooking, visitors will definitely eat, drink, and have some fun. We have bird watchers, uh, hiking, uh, and just being with Mother Nature. So there's a lot of things that Mount Lemon has to offer. Have you ever thought of driving south to go skiing? Ski Valley, located on top of Mount Lemmon, is Arizona's southernmost ski area. While we were there, the snow was melting off, 
but we were delighted to see wild turkey and deer in the distance. The sky ride to the summit takes about a half an hour. And as for the views, we're told Ski Valley is where Earth meets heaven. Thank you.